history, sailing has been crucial in the development of civilization, affording humanity greater mobility than travel over land. Today, a world-class regatta is an event that exemplifies prosperity and power. There is no bigger symbol of grace and dignity in sports. The first record of sailing dates back thousands of years. It is an international language based in innovation, teamwork, mastery of skills, knowledge of conditions, and fueled by one thing, natural energy. In October 2012, Gazprom organized an unprecedented event in sailing. The Nord Stream race was named after the new transboundary natural gas pipeline that links Russia and the European Union through the Baltic Sea. This competition is a symbol of the international cooperation of the Nord Stream project, bridging Russia with Europe in a professional and competitive endeavor. The 750 nautical mile race will see a fleet of five yachts battle the elements and one another to be the first to arrive in Greifswald, Germany. The Swan model class ship chosen for this race is known for its extraordinary performance while offering a safe, reliable environment for the crew. Known for its treacherous conditions, the Baltic Sea requires teams to have excellent sailing skills, knowledge and a high level of endurance. The newly created Swan 60 class ships will be piloted by teams representing Russia, Holland, Germany, France and Europe. Each crew and boat represent nations who will benefit from the new Nord Stream gas pipeline. The Nord Stream race will create a joining of nations and communities whilst also bringing an unrivaled sailing event to the Baltic Sea. Sailing is the harnessing of the power of nature, which drew Gazprom International to this beautiful sporting event. It's the core of Gazprom's efforts, harnessing the energy the Earth provides us. Gazprom International is at the forefront of technology, dedicated to the relentless pursuit of cleaner energies. In September 2012, Gazprom held a press conference to make a very exciting announcement. Nautil Swan, of course, is one of the leading brands in the luxury sailing yacht market. And here in Porto Cervo is welcoming the Russian energy giant Gazprom to their family of Club Swan partners. This October, the Nord Stream regatta will take place. A new class of boat has been created for this regatta is called the Gazprom Swan 60. We are honored to invite uh, Gazprom and uh, St. Petersburg Yacht Club into the Club Swan. This relationship is going to span many activities over the next six years, taking it through to the end of 2017. Although some of us may know Gazprom as a Russian company, in fact, Gazprom is a very international company. And with Gazprom International being based in the Netherlands, of course, we as a Royal Netherlands Yacht Club, we are very happy to be part of this new venture that they are organizing. Gazprom International's ship will be called the Tsar Peter, named after Peter the Great, an outstanding figure in Russian history who organized the Russian Navy. The five teams will brave the elements over 12 days for the prestige of being named victor of the inaugural Nord Stream race. Nautorswan is a brand that is well known worldwide for its uh, racing and uh, performance capabilities. The fact that Gazprom came to uh, Swan for uh, making this project is a big reward because uh, it's about the reputation that uh, Nautor Swan uh, achieved over many years, almost 50 years. Nautor Swan has operated since 1966 and is globally recognized as a producer of exquisitely crafted ships, offering unmatched style and performance. Swan has a great history of great regattas. So when we came to, to, to know about this idea to sail on the same route as the Nord Stream pipeline, it was for us a no-brainer. No the fleet of yachts that we are producing for this regatta are all identical yachts, Swan 60s, which by the way is the most modern and performance-oriented yacht of our production. 
Nautis Swan is the king of the Nautis series sailboats. It's designed to be a performance cruiser, fast but with excellent sea keeping abilities. The 60 is the first cruising Swan with a carbon fiber hull, deck and rake. That makes this sleek looking sailboat fast, light and strong. The standard 60, what we normally produce takes 35 weeks. The Gazprom project, we're actually producing the 60 in 24 weeks. So there you see a massive difference. We've had to go through each and every activity to see how it can be compressed, how they can be aligned to allow a shorter lead time in the project. It will be a race against time to not only assemble the Tsar Peter, but assemble the crew. The sheer amount of precision that goes into the construction of a ship like this is staggering. The use of sprint technology for the laminates in a female molding serial production boat is unique. There is not another builder in the world using that technology at the moment. This is the latest development in our line. It is uh, the, the most advanced technology you can, you can imagine of. The boat is extremely fast. Uh, when the whole fleet will be together, this will be an incredible achievement, a very strong statement. in there for a long time but the breeze were just moving up and down and uh, we pushed very hard we stayed on our toes all the time and this time the boys were a little bit better next time we will see this team actually sailed together for the first time during this race uh, so it was a great learning experience as well so I hope this is what we learned during the first leg uh, we will be able to do uh, a bit better in the second and the third leg.
simply followed our plan and uh, it turned out to be a good plan. So uh, we gave our uh, navigation and tactics department uh, very good marks uh, this race. That was good, but uh, we couldn't catch them anymore. But now we're all on a clean sheet for the last leg and that will be quite exciting. In the end, I think uh, the last race will count. But to tell you the truth, with our uh, uh, club race or crew that we have here, we did not expect uh, to be in this, uh, this position compared to the, uh, all the uh, hot races that we're, uh, that we're up against. to the Neue Brücke between Russia and Europe. This Brücke is called Nord Stream Race. Team Holland, sponsored by Gazprom International, a group that had never sailed together before, won the second and longest offshore stage of the race, an astonishing accomplishment. But in the end, the Russian powerhouse Broninoset's sponsored by Gazprom, was victorious and captured the prestigious inaugural Nord Stream Race trophy. This is an important victory for Russia. I'm honored that a yacht from St. Petersburg under a Russian flag won the event. To be honest, we were challenged during the second leg, but we were able to pull ourselves together in the end and prevail. The epic 12-day event was a triumphant success. This race will be the first of many, an annual reminder of the spirit of cooperation and partnership involved in making the Nord Stream Pipeline a reality.